Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here it is, chapter 40. Her mountain, her sea. Back to Chitang's story. Before, when she steals a child, when Chitang was 12 or 13 years old, his mother began to be away from home all year round. That's why most of the time, she left alone in the house together with her dad. Living with a father who always brings friends home to hang out with, some things are simply inevitable. There's a lot of guests are coming. Chitang still remember the feeling of fear and nausea when she was suddenly hugged by an uncle when she returned to his room. That feeling was really terrible that she has to experience when she's still a child. She was screaming loudly and struggled desperately, attracting the attention of the others, and then the man let go. The glass of water she holding was break too. The most ridiculous thing is that something like this happened but nothing happened in the end. So it means her father don't do anything. Other fathers will protect their daughters. Why can't you? Are you? Me? Now Chi Tang was crying out loud, but her father was ignoring her. At that time, if I weren't your father, I would have lost you long time ago. Have you have enough trouble? Nothing really happened. Don't be embarrassed here. Now her father is scolding her instead of helping her to solve this. From that day on, Chi Tang began to understand that in this home, the only one who could protect her was her only self. At a young age, she only knows how to protect herself. Later, as long as her father was at home and her father's friends were around, she would not dare to wear skirts at home and would only wear trousers in summers. He even dared to sleep against the door. Well, that was cool idea. Back then, she remembers everything. Now, she is grown up and things like this happen again. Well, that was really annoying. Look at Chitang. She really sad when she remembers everything. The fear from the past may have faded a lot, but the traces left in the heart are scars that will never fade away. That's why Chitang's thinking about now. Well, that was a sad truth. The rain is still pouring hard. Chitang was hiding in her room. Remembering these days, well, it's really sad, but suddenly, there's a message sent to her right now. She was preparing to sleep. Well, what could it be? Chitang, why isn't Chitang here? Chitang comes out to chat. Her friends are sending message to the group chat. And now they're waiting for Chitang to come here. Right now, Chitang answers that that she don't want to answer them or she don't want to talk to them right now. Things happen today and maybe it was causing her sadness. So right now, Yu Yu suddenly asked me to say hello to her dear classmate. Did you do your homework at home these two days and did you eat well? That was Yu Yu asking her. Right now, she also wears glasses. She wants to show her classmates and ask her how they are doing. Oh, the good shop is getting lively. Right now, it's look good and your temperament is improved by 100%. That's not right, you, you, you can partial. Yes, R. I don't know whether you are worthy or not. The good shop is coming alive. Back to Chitang. Anyway, I'm just a voice machine that you don't have. Chitang, right now, she was happily reading the message on the group chat. Well, I think she really missed them all. Right now, she was alone in the room. I want to go back to the dormitory. Chitang sent a voice message to Yu Yu. Well, she really miss Yu Yu. On the other hand, guys really don't know how blessed you are and you are in the midst of blessings gods know how much i want to go home 
play with the computer, and blow out the air conditioning. Everybody was a little bit complaining. But right now, she tang, she feel that loss. Well, definitely right now, she was alone in the room. Probably, she really missed the loudly. If you want to go back to the dormitory, just come back. Do you reply to her? Right now, she wants Chitang to come back. Well, it was really good. At least, she was safe in the dormitory. Do you said it's a bit late? Do you want me to pick you up? Oh, she was really sweet. Right now, I bet. You you will wait for her. Chitang said, No, I'm going back to the dormitory now. Well, she need to run back. Is she really excited to go back now? Even though the rain is still pouring hard, Yu Yu went out just to surprise Chitang and she will wait her outside the dormitory. Now, she was really patient. After a few minutes, Chitang arrived. Oh, Yu Yu, she was really sweet. She didn't bother, even it's rainy. She bring umbrella and wait Chitang outside the dorm. Last year, I seems to have gone back to the school at the same time. As it rains every year during the national holiday, in situation like this, Chitang can really jokes. Now both of them are sharing one umbrella. Yu Yu, I suddenly felt useless. Oh, that was really sad. She can break through from the fuss. Right now, she only felt empty. Thanks to Yu Yu, Yu Yu was always there for her. Well, both of them are really thankful to each other. Never there's a problem. They always help each other to solve it. So right now, maybe Shi Tang knows Yu Yu always there for her. But Yu Yu said, in fact, from the perspective of the earth, humans are useless. Well, she was right. We can only use ourselves to be useful. It's our only choice. I watched a documentary which says that humans are viruses and fess on the earth. Oh, that was tough. I just thought our humans are useless to the earth. Well, she has some points in different perspective, but not completely. It seems that it is indeed no use. Human beings are being destroying the environment and ecology, whether our people on the earth or not. Chitang have some points, but Yu Yu said, "Well, I guess so. It's look like she's been really worried about Chitang. Well, maybe she understand Chitang." That's why when Chi Tang said to her that she wants to come back, she's gladly welcoming her to come back. Why are you so angry about this? By the way, where did you watch the documentary? When I was tutoring, there's a child. She was doing some homework and I watched a documentary that her parents asked her. I have also watched many documentaries all about nature. Many people think this kind of documentary is boring. Do you like watching this? Well, it can increase a lot of knowledge. Well, Yu Yu was really right. It's not really boring though. Chi Tang, you gave up the air conditioners and ran back to the dormitory. It isn't too boring to stay home alone. Well, that's again. I hope it won't make Chi Tang to become sad again. Chi Tang said, um, probably she don't want to speak to anyone about her home situation. Right now, maybe I only want to talk to Yu Yu about it. At this moment, she was ready to get sleep. For Yu Yu, she was tidying the room right now. Well, she know Chi Tang was always lazy about this. That's why Yu Yu is the one doing it. Suddenly, Chi Tang said, Can you put on and let me see? Oh, is she talking about the glasses? Well, Yu Yu, Chi Tang can't wait to see her wearing the glasses, right? Now Chi Tang, she was holding the glasses and she gonna give it to Yu Yu right now. Oh, it turns out Chi Tang wants to put the glasses on Yu Yu. Look at Yu Yu, she looks really genius wearing the glasses and with her temper like that, she looks really studious. Right now, Chi Tang was amazed to her. 
Well, definitely, aside from being gorgeous, Yu Yu was really smart. Right now, Chi Tang, she can't wait. Seeing Yu Yu like this, why is there suddenly no sound? Well, what really happened? I'm also confused. I bet this too is doing something. Right now, Chi Tang said I was stunned by Yu Yu's beauty wearing glasses. Now, Yu Yu, she can't speak about it. This too is really cute. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!